response. All right, with that down, let's move on to the final main topic today. And our final main topic today comes to us from uh, Yensi, who writes, Hi, everyone. I just read that Spider-Man Far From Home has a runtime of two hours and nine minutes. I know that's not exactly short compared to some movies, but it's almost a full hour shorter than Endgame was. Why would Marvel make such a drastic change when they, when clearly a longer film worked great for them with Endgame? What are they thinking Thanks. All right. Thanks a lot for sending that in, uh, Yancy. And for those of you missing, yep, a bunch of reports now going around that the runtime for Spider-Man Far From Home is clocking in at two hours and nine minutes. First thing we should probably mention here is this, is that at two hours and nine minutes, that's coming in right around the average of the MCU runtimes. It, it's really close to the average runtime of an average MCU film. So keep that in mind. This is not a short movie, okay? It's not a short movie. It's two hours. It's 129 minutes. It's a decent length movie. Mm -hmm. But the question that Yancy is asking, and I've seen a few people popping up online, is like, what's Marvel thinking? They just did one three hours and it was awesome. Why don't they make this like two hours and 40 minutes with another three-hour movie, blah, blah, blah. Rob, the length of the movie doesn't make your movie good. The quality of your movie makes your movie good, and then you figure out what length for this movie is the right length for this movie. Just because it worked for Endgame doesn't mean every movie should start making themselves three hours long. You, They looked at the movie and say the right length for this movie, where it doesn't feel rushed, and it doesn't feel dragged out, two hours and nine minutes. Now, whether I agree with that assessment or not, we'll have to wait and see after I see the movie. But that's their approach. You don't take a good movie that's at two hours. Well, let's just make it three hours for the sake of making it three hours. That's not how it works. And so I have no problem. Now, look, again, Rob, I might come out of seeing this movie going, oh, my God, they try to cover way too much stuff way too quickly. And this is a movie that would have benefited from an extra 20 minutes. Maybe I'll feel that way. Maybe I'll feel the opposite. Maybe I'll feel like hey, that was pretty good, but I mean, there were so many scenes that were just dragged out and unnecessary filler scenes. If they had shaved 15 minutes off of it, it might have been better. Maybe I'll feel that way. But for whatever reason, Kevin Feige, Watts, the filmmakers, the producers, they looked at this film and their belief was this is the right length for this movie. Three hours will not make the movie better. Two hours won't make it worse. So that's kind of how I'm seeing now. They're doing what they think is best for their movie. Rob, you're hearing about this two hours and nine minutes. Does this sound like a good runtime for you? Do you think they should maybe go shorter coming off of a big endgame? Do you think they should have followed the precedence of endgame and gone a bit longer? How do you see this whole thing? Well, a movie sort of defines its own running time. Right. And what we expect from stories like this, if you go back and you look at a lot of your favorite movies, they're either going to be a little shorter than two hours or just over two hours. Like Star Wars and Empire... 121 minutes, 124 minutes, I think. And movies like this aren't long. I mean, if you made a Spider-Man movie that's two and a half hours long, I don't think it has the story to support that. And I think that trust in Marvel, Endgame was three hours because of how huge it was. You know, I mean, this is about Spider-Man. And, and just like if you watch Raiders of the Lost Ark, it's about Indiana Jones or Die Hard that's about John McClane or a James Bond movie. There have been longer James Bond movies, but most Bond movies are around two hours long. This is exactly the length it's supposed to be. I'd say at two hours and nine minutes, it's a little bit longer than we would normally expect. But with the MCU, like John pointed out, they go a little bit longer. I think it's probably the perfect length. It's the perfect length that needs to be. Uh, I would imagine. And, and we'll find out. Once we see the movie, we'll find out whether it is. But of course, the bottom line news here is that we know our runtime for Spider-Man Homecoming. Uh, for, far from home, I should say. Two hours and nine minutes. What do you think about the runtime? Are you guys disappointed that it's not maybe longer? Or you're like, nah, hey, the runtime's going to be the runtime. Jump down to the comments section below and let us know your thoughts. All right, guys.